What's up, guys? Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. Let's talk about a little kicker. Alright guys, what we have here is a 1992 model Kicker Solar Barrack. This is the first generation of the Solar Barracks. And this just happens to be an 8 inch model, the S8. It's a 4 ohm model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you around it a little bit and show you some of the features. This is the first that I'm aware of subwoofer that was designed for a small sealed enclosure. This particular is an 8 inch and it was designed for a 0.33 cubic foot sealed enclosure. Now you can maybe see there around the edge here, this has the stitch surround. So very meticulously done there. It does have foam here, uh, not the butyl rubber. You can see the nice dust cap there. Kicker solar barrack. And I'll flip it over here so you can See the old school terminals there? Everybody never really liked those. You guys have it much better today with the push terminals. I'm gonna flip it over and show you the magnet. You can see the S8 4 ohm syllabaric. I believe it's a 38 ounce magnet. I'll verify that in just a minute. Has the extended pole piece, uh, the vented pole piece. You can see it has a stamped steel basket. It's not cast aluminum or anything. So by today's standards, this is nothing fancy, but from 1992 standards, this was the cutting edge. Small box subwoofer that designed was designed to hide a way where you normally couldn't hide subs. Before this, you know, you needed a at least a one cubic foot for an eight inch. And uh, so this one was uh, sort of groundbreaking. So anyway, let's look at some more of the specs. All right, here we have a July, August, 1992 car stereo review. And this is one of the directories. What I wanted to show you here is this is one of the ads. And now this is at the time when Kicker was, Kicker was really just a brand for Steelwater Designs. Steelwater Designs was a company. You can see here in the ad, all the base at half the space. This is a very cool ad here from the magazine. It says here to, you know, send in for some free literature. If anybody has any literature on these, I'd appreciate it. maybe a scan or if you have an extra copy, send me one. That would be awesome. Add it to the uh, to the library. And uh, let's switch here to the listing in the directory. Okay, they didn't have their um, subwoofer models broken down by. Uh, by style, they just broke them down by price here. As you can see, there's the Solibaric S8-4, 32 ounce magnet, 300 watts continuous, frequency response 28 to 100 hertz, sensitivity 90 dB, mounting depth 3 and 7 eighths, $169 was the MSRP back in 1992. All right, so there's the sort of overview of the Kicker Solibaric S8 first generation. Now, I know you guys like to see demos, and I actually have two of these, and one of them is in a sealed enclosure. So what I'll do is I'll hook it up to an amp, and we'll try it out with some bass music and see how it sounds. All right, guys, for the quick test, I just have a Matt's D200 wired up because it was just the easiest thing I had to hook up. And you can see we've got the kicker here. In the seal box this is a little bit bigger than 0.33 but I put some foam on the inside to take up some of the uh, some of the enclosure space so it should be pretty close to, to 0.3 there about and uh, so let's just see how it sounds see what it does
right guys there you go a little overview and a demo of some first generation kicker solar barrack s8s this is big d wiz old school stereo.com until next time more demos more tests more exciting old school merchandise this is big d wiz i'm out of here